need a green screen but don't have the space or can't afford one, then you need Personify Chroma Cam. This program will allow you to use your laptop webcam or any other webcam that you may have with a green screen effect. It's available for free to use forever with watermark or you can buy the Chroma Cam Pro for a one-time fee of $30. Check it out in the description below. Yo, hello guys, welcome to Random Fandom. Today's video will be Call of Duty Mobile first impressions. Well, it's not really my first impression since I've been playing this game for a few weeks, so now it'll be more of a review. So right now we have the Halloween update underway and there are some special items that you can get and all sorts of neat little things along with this event. So like Halloween themed maps, that sort of thing. And this game came out October 1st, so it just came out almost about a month ago. Yeah, so you can see like 29 days ago. You get some daily rewards. It basically has a similar system to PUBG Mobile since it's this game is also made by the same company that did the PUBG Mobile game as well. So you got those daily bonuses and you can claim them if you pay extra points or whatever. So like if you miss a day. So now we can take a look and see what's inside our loot box. We have 20 credits. Now these credits can be spent in the store on certain items. So we can go look at the store. And here is where we get to the yay and nay part. Yay is, well, if you buy these COD points, which you cannot get from playing the game, you can buy specific items. So that is the great part. Now they do have loot boxes and some items might be locked behind an exclusive loot box. So that's the sad part. But the fact that you can at least get, you know, specific items that you know what you're going to buy with COD points is fine. And it's not like they're overpowered either. So like you have the M4 Magical Eye. You do get a little perk with it, but to be honest, these perks so far don't really seem to have much effect on pay to win or anything of that sort. And I haven't really noticed anything special about my M21 EBR, which I bought. I mean, you get a single bullet added to your magazine I mean, by chance on a kill. So it's not like you get unlimited ammo or anything of that sort. I mean, it's actually, if you rely on that extra point, maybe you'll lose than if you say you just get used to the 14 rounds that the free version can hold with the extended mag. Yeah, you do get a fancy skin, but that's about it. I mean, there's that little perk, but. You can go over here, there's some cosmetics, and you also have XP cards. Now, XP cards, you get plenty of them as you play, so it's not like it's super pay to win. You don't have to grind for them yet, but that is something to watch out for in the future, is maybe they'll make it more grindier and give you less of those cards, so then it then becomes pay to win. I mean, I'm only like level 35, but if we go to my loadout, we can look at how many guns I have maxed out. So if we go over here, this gun is maxed out. This gun is maxed out. And to access that perk on that gun, well, you still have to play the game in order to do that. Or you have to buy those cards. But apparently, I just have it all maxed out already. This one's not maxed yet. This one I have maxed out. Now this gun you get for free when you buy anything in the game like if you buy like a dollar's worth of cod points you can get this gun 
and to be honest it's not like super bad but it's not super good i mean the plus on it is i mean since this is a smg it has high range for an smg but that's about it because if you take a look at the other smg it's nearly got as much but this one does more damage so like that effect kind of cancels out but if you take a look this has 40 fire rate and this one has 60. of course since it's an smg you're more than likely going to be close to your target so having a nice low fire rate to keep your weapon stable isn't going to matter much in fact you'll probably just want it to be higher but guns that have a lower fire rate can often be more stable although less damaging when you get in a duel but this gun is not full yet this one's not full yet this one is full already but as you can see I have plenty of guns that have been pretty much maxed out and here's the M4 LMG you get this for free at the start I have mine all maxed out the shotgun sucks so I haven't been playing with those much so this one I have maxed out and this is the first sniper which actually you can see it's a lot stronger than the others like if we read the description semi-automatic sniper rifle delivered from the chest up wait no this is not semi-automatic get the bolt action you can see the bolt right there but so they got the wrong description but it is deadly from the chest up and most hits with this you'll kill your enemy you'll You'll actually kill enemies more efficiently with this gun than with the Arctic 50. The Arctic 50 sometimes can give you a two shot kill instead. I mean, if you don't hit them just right, you have to really get that upper chest. Here, it's a little more forgiving. Here, this gun here, which you unlock it later, I mean, it's basically just the non skinned version of this. As you can see, we'll actually go compare the skin version to the non-skin one. You can see they have pretty much the same specs, it's just this one has that perk, so not that big of a deal. Of course, maybe later in the game they'll make those perks have more of an effect and then it'll be paid to win. So this game so far, it's, it's right there on that borderline of pay to win. But it's not quite there, but the effects of this perk doesn't really do much. And you'll find that with pretty much most of the weapon perks. There are a few that are a bit more questionable, like there's one where you... Actually, I'll show you it in the store. We go over here, and we look at... Let's see... Maybe they got rid of that gun. Yeah, the store cycled out with different guns already so yeah there was a black gold m4 lmg and it had a perk that when you kill someone your kill location isn't where you're killing them from isn't revealed to that player so that could potentially hide you from them so that you don't get revenge from them but oh well it's not that big of a deal. I mean, if they keep killing you with that gun anyways from the same spot, you're gonna you should be able to find them and just kill them back. Yeah. Most of the guns here I have fully I mean most of the ones that I use I have fully customized real easily. The others that I don't use, like all the shotguns, none of them are like even one bit used. Of course, this gun here is also customized, and I don't use those much. I mean, my main weapons are basically this, this, and this. I mean, I have the semi sniper, the bolt sniper, and then this. I mean, this I set it up to be pretty versatile. I mean, I got quick draw, so I can draw it quick. I mean, reasonably quick. I mean, it's not an assault rifle, but I do have increased ammo and all that in it kills pretty well up close so like in a jiffy I could use them to do close quarters combat with but really 
if I'm going to be really up close and getting at people's face, I'd rather just do it with this pistol here. Because this is a pretty decent pistol with all these attachments, and I already have it maxed out as well. So that is basically the gist of the store. There are some things in there that you can buy to help you progress faster than other people, but I mean, it's not going to do you much because other people are already being able to max out their stuff anyways. And you don't get enough loadouts to like use all of those guns in the same match anyway. You just put it out. You're probably not going to like every one of those guns either. Like all the shotguns pretty much suck in the game. They have like zero range. You have to be like within, like someone said in the chat before I was noticing in this world chat, like you have to be like spitting distance in order to hit them with a shotgun and kill them. And even then, you might not kill them. But you also got these special events which you can get more loot boxes and shit. Of course, we have this, and there's also plenty of cosmetics. So, if we go to our camos, let's take a look at one of our guns here. We have that camo for that gun. We got that camo. Yeah, there's a, some camos there. Item camos not yet available. There's some. There's camo for a helicopter. Now, all of these look pretty detailed as well. So, that's pretty nice. And that's something that is pretty cool about this game. Oh yeah, that, that I got that backpack too. That was from this... One of these events here. Like, Okay, this cashback bonus. Basically, if you buy a certain amount of stuff, you get more items as you keep going on. So that is a spray. I haven't really used that much, but this is where some things can get kind of annoying. It's like when you see this, you need 4,000 COD points to get this. So if you're going to buy 4,000 COD points, let's take a look and see how much that cost. That is $50 to get that knife. So that is a little bit ridiculous. But then again, this game is free to play. It gives you a pretty fair shake at it. So like... They have to make the money somehow, so they can just let the whales buy up stuff, and then they can let the free players just play for free. I mean, I've already spent 20 bucks in this game, and that'll probably be like the last 20 bucks I spend. I mean, since the game wasn't so pay to win, like if you join a match, you're put in mostly good matches. I mean, where are these? Levels are about even, so like you have access to the same stuff as the other people. Occasionally, you get some higher level in there, but that's no big deal. Of course, you also have this battle pass, which you can get free stuff from, or if you buy it, you can get more stuff. So here you have this loot box, and it can contain one of these items of so basically just skin versions, like all of the weapons here. There are free variants of them with no skins or some with skins. But like this looks pretty vibrant and cool and all. Yeah, this DLQ looks pretty awesome. Now this one has two perks on it. It's a rare item. So there you go. Kills prevent revealing victim death locations. And then you have a player experience increase of 10%. That's not really a whole lot. I mean, all the XP does is make you level up faster, in which if you level up faster, you're just going to be going up against harder opponents anyway. So, like, not necessarily pay to win there by too much. So there we have it. We have Zombies mode, which is supposed to be coming soon. Then we have Multiplayer and Battle Royale. Now if you watch my PUBG guide, the battle royale tactics I use there should work here pretty much just fine. 
But right now we'll just go into Frontline Nuketown and we'll just give you some gameplay so you can see what this game is like. Just different control options and all that. Of course, I don't have mine set up all absolutely perfectly yet. Like, I haven't fine tuned my sensitivity or anything, but I've just been playing this game and doing pretty well anyway, so. I come out with a nice positive KD in a lot of my matches. Of course, that leads us to the next thing is. People say there's bots in this game, and apparently, I guess, after level 10, that's when they stop putting you against bots and start putting you against people. But of course, people can be stupid too. Like, not everyone is good at playing video games, so like, you might have, say, maybe some teenager let his mom try out the game, and of course his mom never played the game, so you can get crap. Players on there too. Maybe you just have some eight year old that is playing the game and they're pretty crap and have no idea what tactics are. So, that is that. If we take a look around, you can see that the graphics are really pretty detailed for a phone. Of course, you're not going to get to see all the full detail of this. Because I'm using a screen recorder, and you're not looking at my phone, like, absolute face-on with it, so. It might look a little worse in video. Or maybe quite a bit worse, depending on what YouTube's processing does, but. Yeah, the game is pretty good. You go over here, and... We can stack our pills up like that. But now I'm not gonna be doing anything really too try hard. I'm just gonna try to play the game a little bit. So that is the pistol there, which I bring out. It's too close. different than I usually do. I don't typically run around like that, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, the on, huh? and then you, of course you have your kill streak. Some of these can be pretty nice. And jump up to the enemies. We've taken the lead. So we are holding where I'm going up pretty well. Right now. around. There's a nice two kill. We've taken the lead. Care package inbound. It's too close. Fight hard. Lost the lead.
He's got the bow, which is one of the latest unlocks you can get for the special event. defeat all right so that is a little bit of me playing more aggressive than i usually do oh. there we go. Of course, some people in this game may be playing emulators. Uh, so there's been reports of people playing on PC. This, they just can't stand a phone and don't want to learn how to play on a phone. But there we go. So as you can see, I actually tried carrying my team, but my team didn't try to do any of their part. So not exactly my fault. We all lost when like. More than half of the team only got two or less kills. <laughs> that is insane right there. I mean, I'll add you, you at least tried. <laughs> there you go. Oh, wow. And these guys are like higher level than me. And they're just doing it absolutely pathetic. <laughs> Like, look at this guy, he's got one kill and 14 deaths. The least kills of any player on my team, and the most deaths. Like, how do you even do that? Like, are you just sitting there AFK or what? I don't know. But either way, as you can see, we got like two cards off of that, and now we can go to our weapons and see what we have available. We got this new trip mine available, which I probably won't use. I'll probably just stick with the sticky grenade. Now I might put her on a sniper. Yeah, I'll probably just put it on this sniper, but not the other one. The other one's for more aggressive sniping, faster paced sniping. Of course, you go here, you get your battle pass points. Yeah, that is basically Call of Duty Mobile. It plays like a typical Call of Duty game, I guess. And I have Black Ops 2, and it's very similar to that. And actually, I would say I like this better than Black Ops 2. This, apparently, you can get like the best weapons like at the start, and you don't have to grind so much. Like I'm like level 30 and. Black Ops 2 is I didn't buy the game at launch, I actually got it several years after the launch, like Black Ops 3 was already out. I think even maybe Call of Duty World War 2 it was out as well. Not sure, but yeah. I got Black Ops 2 pretty late in the game, like it was mostly dead anyways when I bought the game. <laughs> this I typically just buy older games to avoid the latest microtransactions trash just paying $60 for a game and then having microtransactions on top sucks which leads us next to another thing is I've seen people on Twitter say that they like this game better than all of the CODs on PC and console for like the past five years or so I mean I wonder why but well let's take a look at Black Ops 4 with the 
red dots. They were selling the red dot. I mean, a freaking red dot. They were selling it. In this game, you get it for free, actually. Like, you got a new gun here. You just go here to Optic, and looky there. We got a red dot. It's free. Adds a little bit of accuracy and range, I guess. Yeah. There you go. Free red dot. Didn't have to spend a dime on it. Now, one thing about this game is, like, if, if you go look at, let's see. Oh, yeah, I got my nuke there. So, nice to have a nuke. Yeah. Do you have these special offers down here? As you can see, like, here you get grena cosmetic grenades for $17. And you get three of them. And it's, it's pretty pricey for the cosmetics, but the game is free to play. Like, and it's still cheaper than paying $60 for a console title. Alright, let's see. Is something updating right now? Or is the game servers having problems again? This this game is pretty popular, like there's like I think they said like in the first week it got a hundred million downloads, so like insanely popular game. So the servers, of course, would be getting hit pretty hard. Yeah, this game is not without its faults, but for what it is, it does a really great job. I mean, it's right now, it's probably the most ethical game on the Play Store right now.